When was the last time you ran full speed? The Foundation Fitness Initiative strongly suggests daily cardiovascular exercise for all Foundation staff members because during a containment breach, the staff member who runs slowest doesn't come to work tomorrow or ever again. Approach the entity. Don't ask questions, D-Class. Just get the jam! I didn't lose it. Sure, I'm going to believe your story, that Zach King broke into our containment to steal the size-changing sentient golf ball that hates being hit in a bid to unalive Tom Brady, because that makes sense. Hey, don't judge. Every third anomalous escape room requires a ritual sacrifice. That's why we have D-Class. SCP-4521 test 786. Today that damn tree finally screams. What the hell was that? That's completely against protocol. Me? Never. Little does this civilian know that putting exactly Redacted. balloons in a bunch causes a dimensional rift to open in the center, the coloration of the balloons acting as coordinates to the exit. This person just sent their bowling ball to a dimension of carnivorous marshmallows. Well, we're going to have fun cleaning them up. Ugh. I asked you not to play while I'm working. I have to concentrate on this. Ba, 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 ba. Better. The sentient lawnmower escaped again. We have one engine in pursuit. Backup is arriving on the scene. Doc, something's happening. Oh, oh, I see it. Its eyes are glowing white. What? Doc, something's happening. D3086, we read. Oh! Oh, I see it! Report! What do you see? The ties are glowing white! White? Green means hungry, red means angry, white means horny. What? Damn. Here we go again. I don't like them when they're mundane. I don't like them when they're anomalous. I just hate spiders. What's this one gonna do? Grow 100 feet tall? Nope! It's infinite spiders! All right, at E-Class, go ahead and move forward to the balcony for me. Aye. Oh, my giddy on. Not like that. Nah, no, that's a bit too dark and gloomy for me. How about you just turn around and come back for me? Sounds great, Doc. Oh. Or not. Do you like SCP-113, the gender-switching stone, but wish it had a little more story for you to chew on? Check out SCP-6113, titled Temporary Reflections. Now, I don't want to spoil the whole story because it is a ride, but a quick teaser summary. There's an uncontainable entity running around anomalously transitioning people. Unlike the gender switching stone, which is painful as hell, has unpredictable results with non-binary identities, and could possibly kill you, this entity teleports you to a nice lake for a friendly chat, perfectly transitions you to your ideal identity, no pain, no risk of death. No downsides, that would make for a boring story, right? Not this time, because the conflict is about the Foundation emphasizing the cold in their cold not cruel mantra, dealing with the anomaly and the people who are caught in its wake. It gets a wee bit dark at times, but if you can handle that, I gave it my upvote. I strongly suggest heading to the wiki and giving it a read. Secure, contain, protect. Look, I'm as happy as anyone that the Overcoming Shyness book we got from the Tenda Villagers helped 096 to not murder everyone who sees its face. Obviously, that's a win, but I'm getting real tired of all these TikTok dances. The femur breaker is out of commission in SCP-106 breach containment. What are we gonna- Oh, that works. Has anyone seen this happen before? Like, is this still safe to eat? <laughs> the invention of the internet has made our jobs at the Foundation so much easier. People post their freaky anomalies online looking for help. Our web callers pick it up. We go contain it. Word of warning, though. Don't eat the anomalies before we arrive. Not even a taste. One of the nice things about living in Ohio are our soul traps. Soul traps? A part of our municipal infrastructure. For a conceivable Could purpose. You hear them singing. You need to get away. Ohio, not a fan of soul music. We needed an updated artistic representation of SCP-096's face to ascertain whether it ages or changes in any other way over time. So following protocol, we stuck a D-class in a submarine with painting supplies and a photo of 096's face. The result was shocking. A secondary entity was pictured in 096's mouth. Could it be the source of its anomaly, perhaps? Slow down. You didn't even tell me what I'm looking for out here. You're close. Is is that the entity? Affirmative, Doc. That, that's just a guy in a fursuit! They're infected with SCP-3312. Oh, crap. I don't know what I expected. Radiger climbs the ladder. Cartoon Cat, a nigh-unstoppable Toon Force entity shows up. And she punches it.
Dr. Sherman reporting from the field. I don't normally do this, but this hypothetical was very interesting to me, so we would absolutely not test this because 6A2 could regenerate from the damage of 4A5 coming out of its mouth, so it would not kill 6A2, but it would still give 6A2 the Waldo tattoos that make it a vector for Waldo, so anyone who knew where 6A2 was would then be attacked by Waldo. So yeah, we're not trying this. One of his shirts? Nah, I stole about eight of them. How else are you going to learn the valuable lesson to lock the closet in your office? Sir, will you please stop staring at me? Where's the rest of you? SCP Foundation, what's your anomalous emergent? No, oh, it's you, Agent Iplier. All right, what do you need? Spit it out. Look, I know I caught you with SCP-297, but the silent treatment's not going to happen. Whoa! What in the Scarlet King's jockstrap was that? No! Are you kidding me? There's already a lake full of bodies I'm not supposed to recognize, and now they're all over outer space, too? The Foundation isn't gonna have reliable space travel for another two years, three, depending on your cannon. This is not my department. Uh, transfer me to Site Director Sherman. Sherman, we need to talk about this thing. What? God damn it! I don't care if it's a relative, I don't care if it's a romantic interest, the lesson is the same. Say it with me now. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Next up on our tour is a special treat. You get to observe feeding time for the cupboard creature. Hey! Which of you forgot to lock the containment chamber for the cupboard creature? We were this close to a new record, nine days since last containment breach. Now I'm absolutely story of a girl gonna have to change the sign back to zero. <sighs> Sorry about that. Now, I know what you must be thinking, cup noodle, that must be a budget thing, right? But it's actually a quirk of this anomaly. We caught the cupboard creature in a rampage across convenience stores and gas stations in the Midwest. Thing just really loves its cup noodles. <laughs> Weather report in the back rooms. It's rain in balls. Strike that from the recording, please. <sighs> Leave it to D785 to find the gross wet section of the back rooms. Yes, I understand it's karmically relevant because D-785 used to drown children and ended up there. Doesn't mean I have to like looking at it. They get a swimming pool! The back rooms has a swimming pool. Async goes exploring and they get a swimming pool. But when we explore, it's infinite staircases or hell dimensions or the esophagus of a monster that makes you... Redacted. D-785, go look at the rules, please. Uh-huh, makes sense. I get it. That's right. You don't recognize the bodies in the- What? No! Here too? I've had enough of this. Get a pool skimmer! Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.